Hello there everybody, this is Milano T-Rex. I'm uploading this uh, intermediate little video because I've seen that the last video is uh, more for beginners than for intermediate. So I thought about making uh, another video. I think it would be uh, way much more useful for those who have already explored um, the program and the new feature, which is the animation feature here. So uh, let's get started with one. I'm gonna put this in uh, on time lapse because I've already discussed that in the previous video. So if you happen to have missed it, then please check it out. I have it in the description box below. And um, when you're done with that, you can watch this one. And I also advise you to um, open Manga Studio and um, follow me doing those steps. So you can actually have a better idea of uh, what's going on here. And um, because it's also going to go a little bit more complicated than the previous video. So yeah, let me kick this in time lapse and I'll be back to um, explain what I've done. So, uh, I have done this uh, panda looking around him. What I'm actually thinking about is... Um, and when I have him to, you know, observe it as it goes around, around him. Now, the thing that I want to show you here is that I have made the panda like the like I showed you in the previous tutorial all within one animation layer and that's um, all in one cell so that's that's the point here you have it all here and I want to create another one the same one uh, clicking this button it says new animation folder so you click that one and well you have the same thing here and it's also shown there, so if I name it, let's just call it fly. Just skip fly for now. I have the zero layers in it. Now I'm gonna create one and draw, let's see, I'm gonna at least get it ready. Well, you insert the first cell there and then you can start um, editing on it um, once you have it activated there. Now what I want to do is, um, just want to get right here. Let me see. I'm gonna have trouble, so you know what? Let me just. Uh, is this? Yeah, that's an external layer. So I can make this background for now. I can change it later. So now I made the background a little darker, so you can actually see the glowing fly. Uh, as it goes around the panda's head and uh, it wouldn't have been that easy to look at uh, with the white background break so yeah now I'm making it just a little more interesting for the look and uh, yeah because just only one base color is kind of boring and animating more or less all right now we have the panda all done with the background finally you can visualize it better. And let's play the animation. There we go. Now, maybe you have noticed that I have uh, for the panda here. You see, it's it's gonna it's getting a little crowded here. But you have, maybe you have noticed that I'm having two cells for one layer. And uh, if you want to make another cell here with the um, the head uh, in that motion in between front and the 45 angle be my guess and do that by all means but I'm gonna keep it this way and I actually have done this and kept one free right there because I wanted to animate the eyes so to do that again we have to create another um, animation folder I'll create a uh, layer here and of course to activate it I have to insert it and I'm going to call that 
Nice. Now we have from one all the way to eight. Okay, just make three now and then I'll see you where to go from there. Now, okay, let's see now. We have the first one right there. I'm gonna activate it and draw the eyes. I'm gonna make it black. I'm gonna add it this way. No, hold on. Let's start with this one. Yep. Just looking at it. Second layer here. Turn on the onion skin. And so on, all the way to the eighth layer. All right, what I want to do is to make it a little bit more realistic regarding the light source. Of course, we have this knight and we have this firefly orbiting the panda's head. And let's not forget that's supposed to uh, cast light on the panda and probably a little on the ground too or on the uh, panda's lower body. So let's do that, okay? Yes, unfortunately, you have to do that frame by frame in case if you don't like it. However, if you're really into animation, then you would find that enjoyable in a way. Now, um, one of the things that I uh, wanted to show in this video also is that you can add, hold on, right there, I'll add another um, animation folder. I'm gonna call it just add. Why is it that? Because this one tends to put things together. And for example, for example, this layer. If I just put one right here, give it a layer, and at this part of the scene, just want to color it all black, like so. But I'm not sure if it's going to look okay. So if I come here and make him close his eyes. It's gonna make him more alive. There you go. There you go. And just a little, a little thick. And I want it just a little thin. That's why I'm gonna use the mapping pen. Right there we go. Perfect. There you go. So yeah, although we had something here and right under this, we had we had a whole look in the bear's face. But now that you want to add something on it, you don't like it. For example, okay, let's say we don't like this part. So we can just add on it and do something else. See, that's that's one uh, that's the layer that I have here. So you can add uh, pretty much <laughs> anything here. You can add another layer. And uh, put it here, for example. And I'm gonna put this there. Oh, hold on. Probably can't do that. Okay. Oh, I can. All right. Okay, there you go. I'll take this color. Put it here. There you go. You want to add things here and there. You can just add a layer and just add to it, you know, instead of going back to those. So you kind of assign this one to the panda only, and those ones for the eyes, and the ones in here are for the firefly only. And this whole new animation folder is just for the stuff that don't fit anywhere, or um, the things that you want to add to the drawing to make it look better. So, um, well, this is my way of doing it, and. Um, if you find it interesting, if you like it, then adopt it by all means. Or maybe you would just find out something that uh, you may see more fit. So yeah, I'm just sharing out my way of doing it. I don't think there's anything else I'd yeah, like to discuss here. So we're pretty much done for today. Okay, so um, you see the line here is uh, compared to the uh, previous video. It's way much more complicated or um, pretty much uh, 
filled with stuff here. It could go even much more complicated to become something like this. You see? You see how weird it looks? <laughs> See this? It's really filled with, you know, all packed with sales here, all packed with sales. So yeah, I hope this video was uh, useful and informative to you. Please uh, leave a comment below to uh, or suggestions so I can um, include them in my next video. Anything that I can relate to it. So yeah, be fr feel free to do that. And um, yeah, I'll get back to them in the next video. I might. You never know, I might include something that you personally would like to see. Uh, for this particular animation, I have included, I'm, I'm attaching the uh, link to my DeviantArt where this is posted. Uh, check it out if you want, and um, yeah, stay tuned. Thank you for watching.